Got another installment in the 9mm ammo quest for you. Today we are trying out Buffalo Bore 24E. This is a 124 grain plus P hollow point, and we're trying it out from a 3 inch barrel pocket pistol. Specifically, I'm looking for ammo that will meet the FBI and IWBA specifications through professional ballistic gelatin with and without four layers of denim covering it up. I want to see bullets that'll penetrate between 12 to 18 inches, no less than 12 no more than 18, successfully through the bear gel and through the denim. And we want to see reliable feeding. We want to see reliable expansion. And Buffalo Bore, they load some hot ammo. So it'll be interesting to see how much punch we get out of the little itty bitty pistol, but with the hot ammo. On first glance, these look tremendous. The penetration is utterly fantastic. Look at this, the shortest bullet we had was at 14 inches. We got one at 14 and a half, one at 14 and three quarters, one at 15 and a quarter, one at 15 and three quarters, and I actually did shoot six in this, and the sixth one went all the way to 16 inches. So initially, you think this looks great, but then you look a little closer in the block, and it looks like all the bullets came apart fragmented, shed their jackets, pieces and chunks fell off, lead was left behind. Those are usually not good signs. I mean, it's, it's not what you want to see. That said, I would say that, you know, getting hit by one of these is going to be very unpleasant and uh, potentially fatal. It's just, we've seen other ammo perform a lot better, but uh, I'm not really complaining. So now let's move on and see how they did through the denim. Through the denim, really excellent. Uh, shortest bullet did exceed our minimum at 12 and 3 quarters. Then we had one at 13 and 3 quarters. And then we had three with simply excellent penetration. 14 and 3 quarters, 15 and a half, and 15 and 3 quarters. They all stayed together. They all look fantastic. I mean, we'll see more in the bullet exam coming up next, but this doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Why did the exact same bullets splinter and fragment in the bear gel, but through the denim, they look like they all held together well and expanded properly. A little bizarre, but uh, can't argue with the results. All right, the Buffalo Bore 124 grain. <laughs> uh, you can see we had some trouble here. This is a tale of two bullets, because I gotta say, through denim, this is one of the best performing bullets I've ever tested from the three inch pocket pistol. The penetration was outstanding. The bullets held together. They all expanded properly. It was great. And then through the bear gel, uh, you know, they all separated. We had coarse separation from the jacket. We had fragmentation and splintering. I actually shot six bullets in there. So the actual core bullets ended up being very little. And I had collectively 280 grains worth of jacket and fragments and whatever all else. 280 grains out of the six bullets that I fired. So on average, each one of these, the, the core that penetrated the furthest in these bullets was about 75 grains. So we have around 40 to 50 grains worth of fragments and bits that fell off. And that's, that's a good third of the bullet that, that just fell off and, and separated. So I really don't understand exactly what happened here as to why in denim they were brilliant and, and why in bear gel they were awful. Even so, e even though I say that they're awful, I gotta, gotta be fair with that, every one of them penetrated deep enough with this core that if you had the, the shot on target, it could have hit something vital. So it's not bad, it's just not what we're looking for. If someone got shot with one of these, I think it would be effective. I just think that there are better design bullets that will perform more consistently and that won't separate and fall apart like this. So I think we found other bullets that are better, but um, you know, I, I may be inclined to kind of rag on it, but I'm not gonna because the, the core pieces did get where they need to go. It's still a decent size, you know, it's only 75 grains roughly. Uh, they're only about the size of a, a 380, a slightly expanded 380, but they got there, they got deep, it was okay. So <sighs> frustrating. If the bear bullets had performed like this, we would have us a real winner. As it is, it's a decent load, but I wouldn't recommend buying it over some of the other better loads we've tested. Well, that was weird. Um, 
The Denim Performance, one of the best bullets I've ever tested from a 9mm pocket pistol. They did fantastic. Held together, penetrated deep, really great. Bear Performance was weird. I mean, why did the bullets disintegrate through the bear gel? Normally, bullets perform better and more consistently in the bear gel, and then they clog up or fail in the denim. But these were the other way around. They had fantastic performance in the denim, but in the bear, uh, just pieces fell off and they fell apart. And, and they did still have the, the, the remainder of the bullet that did not disintegrate and shred did penetrate deep. So not a failure. I mean, somebody shot with these, if, if, if the aim was proper and, and you aimed at a vital organ, it would damage them. But uh, in bullet design, the current thinking is that you really don't want bullets to shed weight. I mean, that's where the whole bonded bullet thing came from. We want the bullets to stay intact, stay at their full size, and penetrate as deep as possible, carrying their full weight. And that's not what these did. I mean, I've never seen so many fragments come off a bullet. I, so overall, it's not going to be on the recommended list. Uh, you know, and bullet disintegration is not a bonus feature. That's that's not what you want to see happen. So because of that, I'm going to put it in the you know, thanks for playing, but no, we're not going to go with it category. At least it didn't underpenetrate. So that's that's definitely a point in its favor, but there are better performing rounds out there. So thanks, but uh, no, you're not going to win the ammo quest. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the likes. And if you do like what you saw, hit the like button. And if you hit the subscribe button, you'll be notified when the next video is posted.